to set up the Next.js application, make sure you have Node installed in your local system. Node is a JavaScript runtime. With Node, you will get NPM. NPM is a Node package manager that allows you to install Node packages in the JavaScript projects. So you have to head on nodejs.org and you have to install the current stable version of Node. I already have Node in my Windows system. So I'm going to open my VS Code terminal and here I'm going to execute a command called node hyphen v. This command is going to check that the node is successfully installed or not. Here I'm going to get a version of node. If I want to check that the npm is installed or not, I can simply say here npm hyphen v. So once you have node installed in your local system, just close this terminal and open an empty folder inside the VS Code editor. I'm using VS Studio Code throughout this course. I already have an empty folder inside this VS Code. To open the empty folder, just click on the files and select open folder. I already have a tutorial folder here, you can notice. And now inside this, I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to name this folder next course. I'm going to name this folder next.js course. Let's first create a next.js application with CDN to understand how the next.js application works. So inside this next.js course, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to name this file index.html. And then I'm going to add exclamation mark here and press enter. This is simply going to add HTML5 snippet inside this index file. We also need to add a link tag for icon, something like this. Then I'm going to specify here title for this app. I'm going to say next.js CDN. Just out of that, as I said, Next.js is a React framework. So what you have to do is you have to import two libraries, React and React DOM inside this project. So you can easily create different React component in the project. You can just head on to the React website. So just type for React and head on to react.js.org and click on the get started. From here, you can get the CDN links. Just click here and copy both these CDN links. And I'm going to paste that CDN link in this head section. Something like this. Now, once I have both this package, React and React DOM, we need to import Babel as well. Because React use JSX to create component. And React use Babel to transpile that JSX component into JavaScript. For that, we need to use Babel as well. So I'm going to just type here Babel CDN. So I'm going to search for Babel CDN. Click on this cdnjs.com. Copy this Babel script and paste that right here. Now, once you have React, React DOM, and the Babel, now I can create a React component inside this index file. So what I'm going to do is, inside this body, right here, I'm going to create my root component. So I'm going to say here div, and I'm going to specify id to it. id is going to be root, or you can specify the app. Now I'm using this division tag to open all the components. Just out of that, right down here, I need to add a script. And this is a type of text babble. Or you can use text JSX as well. That's upon you. Both are identical. I'm using here text babble. Now, inside this script, let's grab this division tag so we can append all the components inside this div. I'm going to say constant app is equal to document dot get element by ID. And then we pass ID here. So now once we have this division tag, I can append all the component inside it. So let's create a new component here. So just for the example, if I create a component called home page, something like this, and inside this, I'm going to return JSX. So I'm going to create here a return div. And inside this div, I'm going to create a one heading tag. And then I'm going to say like counter and save these changes. Just out of that, just down here, I'm going to say react dom dot render. As you know, with react dom, you will get render method. So you can render your component. Inside this, you need to first specify your component name as a first parameter. And then you have to specify the main root component. Or you can say the main app component. So I'm going to pass here this app variable here. And just out of that, inside this bracket, I'm going to specify my component name. Something like this. That's it. This is a simple React syntax. 
Now, let me save these changes and run this index.html file in the browser. I already have an extension in this VS Code to execute this index in the browser, which is live server. I'm using this live server extension to run this index file in the browser. If you don't have this extension, make sure you install this first to run your index file in the live server in the browser. I already have this live server installed, so I'm going to just right click here and say open with live server. This is going to start the development server on the port 5500. So you can see the live server is going to execute the index file and I'm going to have here a text called like counter. If you want, you can add state inside this home page. For example, right here, if I want, I can simply add here constant likes set likes is equal to react use state. And then I'm going to specify default value to the state, which is zero. And then I can simply specify here that variable likes. And to increase the value of this variable, I can simply add here a button with the text likes. And then to increase the value of this state, I can simply call here on click event. And then I'm going to specify here and handler function, the inline handler function. So inside this, I'm going to say set likes, likes plus one. I'm going to just increase the value of the like by one every time when we click on the button. Now, let me save this back to my project. And now when I click on this button, you can see I can increase the value of the like by clicking on this button. Now, this is a very simple React application. We just imported two modules, React and React Dome. And we use here Babel to transpile the React code or you can say the JSX code into JavaScript. Now, what I want, I want to convert this app into Next.js using NPM. Instead of using CDN, let me show you how I can use Node Package Manager to install all these packages in the Node Module directory and create Next.js application.